Hey everyone, welcome back to the Custom Corner, where I explore 3D printing, design, and a bit of tech experimentation. Today, we're going to kick off a new three-part series called AI 3D, from prompt to print. I'm going to generate an easy, a medium, and a hard 3D model using AI, and then actually print them to see what works and what doesn't. Today, we're starting with the easy one, a Halloween ghost. Because nothing says AI magic like a sheet with eyes. Let's get started. The 3D mesh generator I'm going to use requires an image as a reference to a generator model. I started by asking ChatGPT to make me an image of a simple ghost model. The prompt is simple. Reference image for a 3D printable Halloween ghost figurine. The ghost should be hollow inside. Rounded flowing ghost shape in a cartoon style with simple hollow oval eyes and mouth. Smooth exterior, thick walls for easy printing, no thin arms or fragile parts black gray background. Attempt number one gave me this, with a giant hole in its head. Unless you're into lobotomized Halloween decor, this one was a hard pass. Attempt number two was even worse. No ghost at all, just an infinite loading spinner. AI purgatory. I sped this part up so you don't have to suffer like I did. Finally, on attempt number three, I got something usable. A simple rounded ghost with eyes and a mouth. Nothing fancy but had potential. There are times to charm. Now that we have something usable, we can finally proceed to the next step, generating the 3D model. Here we are in Scenario.com. It's an AI image generation site that allows you to train, create, and edit images, video, and 3D models, and it's mainly geared towards game assets. I happen to have a subscription to it for game development project, and it's a good opportunity to test this 3D model generation. So let's use our 3D creation option. There's already a model here from a previous attempt, but we're going to create a new version from the image we just got from ChatGPT. We'll start by uploading the image. Next, we'll change the AI model. There's a number of AI models to choose from, but I wanted to try one in particular. I chose to use the Tripo AI model as the mesh generator for this first model. I uploaded the image, turned off PBR and textures to save credits since we don't need them for 3D printing. There's a warning here about having a background in the image that might interfere with the mesh creation, but we can ignore that for now. It won't affect anything. Next, we click generate. And in a short time, out came a 3D printable model. Easy win compared to the ChatGPT roulette wheel. By the way, if you're curious to try a scenario, I'll drop a referral link down in the comments. Let's open up the model to see what we got. There's a couple of minor artifacts, but it's not too bad. The model does not appear to be hollow from what I can tell. The bottom is closed off and the eyes and mouth are indented, but solid. And that's okay for now. If we really wanted perfection, we would have to redo the reference image or go to a different model that allows prompting. Let's go ahead and export this and get it into Bamboo Studio to see if it's printable. Here we are in Bamboo Studio. One thing to note is that since the exported file format is a GLTF format, I had to open it in Blender and save that as an STL. That will allow it to be opened by Bamboo Studio. I get a warning about the units when I open it, and I accept to converting it to millimeters. Next, I want to rotate it so it faces front. Not required, but I like the models to be facing the front so I can check the more important parts as they print. Then, I want to rotate the model so that more of the bottom is touching the build plate. Since parts of this are not going to touch, we're going to have to turn on supports for this. This will unfortunately cause the bottoms to come out a little rough looking, but not too bad. Next, I'm going to clone it with a value of 3 to make a total of 4 ghosts, and assign each one a different color for my AMS. Gray, black, white, and red. Then, in Global, under the Others tab, I'm going to change the print mode to Buy Object, so they print one at a time. And then I hit Auto Arrange to keep them from colliding on the plate. A quick check on the slicer in the preview pane shows us that because of the wavy, sheet-like bottom of the ghost, we have to turn on supports. Otherwise, it just isn't going to print in midair. Since they stand on their own, as long as we're able to remove the support material easily and cleanly, 
it's not going to be something you'll ever actually see. Another quick slice and check. And it looks like we're ready to print. Let's go ahead and kick this off. And here's a print in action. The poor little ghosts coming to life, one at a time. This is always the most satisfying part of the process. Because we're printing by object, we're not swapping filament each layer. Just once per color switch. People don't use this feature often enough, and it's a real plastic and time saver. And here are the finished ghosts, fresh off the printer. We have a little ghost army. I even went ahead and got a big version printed out. So our little troop has a general. They're a little messy underneath, but you'll never notice. Clean, simple, and honestly, kind of cute. We could have tweaked the tops a little more to get a smoother print, but I think this test was a total success. But I didn't stop there. I wanted to make a bigger ghost that could glow with a flickering tea light inside. And this is where things got messy. I experimented in Blender, I experimented in Fusion, trying to properly hollow the model and cut out the eyes and mouth. Now let's just stay. I failed spectacularly more than once. Meshes broke, modifiers refused to cooperate, and Fusion basically laughed at me. Eventually, I managed to get this larger ghost printed, hollowed, and slotted for a candle. Drop it on top of a flickering tea light, and the eyes and mouth shimmer like a proper Halloween decoration. And that wraps up part one of AI 3D from prompt to print. This was the easy ghost. Next, I'll take on a medium difficulty model and push the AI a bit further. Don't forget to subscribe to the custom corner so you don't miss the next part. And so you can watch me argue with AI prompts all over again. See you in part two.